Have you heard someone says, JSON will slow down your application? It will generate text and will take your network bandwidth? In this video, I'm going to do a complete comparison between JSON and the other alternatives. We will check five libraries, Newtonsoft.json and Protobuf, Apache Avro, MessagePack, and BSON. And of course, the system that takes the JSON, the built-in library in .NET application. We will measure two criteria. First one is the output size of serializing an object. And second one is performance of serializing. I'm Said, and let's do this comparison together. Here, I have an console application that I already add all of the Nougat packages that uh, we are going to use. If I want to check our uh, CS project, I'm using .NET 8 as the latest version. All of these uh, Nougat packages are the latest version of them. Newtonsoft JSON, Protobuf Net, and uh, Apache Avro, that is uh, mainly for Java, but we can use it for uh, .NET as well. Message Pack, MongoDB.bson, for checking the Bison, I think it's worth to check. And uh, finally, we have a benchmark.net for doing this uh, comparison in the performance. We have a class as a, our object that we are going to use for the serialization. This is a very simple one. We have a class called order, ID, name, category, few properties that we are going to use this, the same object for all of those packages. As you know, for using Portobuf, you need to add this attribute, Portobuf contract, and also for every property, you need to add this attribute for members. This uh, message pack object, we need it for uh, serializing the object using the message pack. I've added this uh, message pack object as an attribute on class and also this key uh, attribute for the property. No need to mention that when we are setting these numbers here, they need to be same as always. I mean, they need to be same for all of these objects. For example, if we are adding the proto member one, index one, for ID. If after a while you change this number, the old uh, generated JSON, they won't deserialize because uh, Protobuf will take care of this members index. And when the, it wants to deserialize object, deserialize to the specific object, it will take care of these numbers. Okay, uh, this video, I'm going to talk about the comparison, not how to use them. If you uh, are interested to how to use the protobuf message pack or every other uh, serializer nugget please leave a comment for me and i will uh, create another video for explaining them and here i wrote some simple code here i uh, create uh, an object from the order in this create method it's just to create some data for the order and a step by a step we are going to create a JSON output using different uh, serializers. First is the Newtonsoft, okay, as we all know, I think. Second one is uh, text.json, the built-in. And we are going to check the bytes, the output JSON bytes and compare them uh, what is the difference between these outputs? Okay, after we are going to use the protobuf, when we are using protobuf, the output is in binary format. For using the protobuf, we need to use the uh, something like memory stream or a stream or even file, whatever. But here we are using the memory stream and we tell protobuf, okay, serialize this object and then put it into the memory stream for us. And after we check the uh, bytes of that memory stream. Another one is Apache Avro. Apache Avro is a little difficult to work with. For using Avro, you need to define the schema first and then try to serialize your object. For the other frameworks, 
simply you just say okay just serialize this object that framework will take care of the okay what is the schema what is the data type of each properties and then in deserializing it will know that how to deserialize and how to evaluate those objects and properties but here for avro you need to define the schema for example here in the schema this is the uh, the format of the schema for avro so for example you say type is record there is different type of the schema for the using avro uh, records i don't know this kind of uh, long or different type of the schema here so for the classes and object we are going to use the records name of the class which called order and the fields you need to uh, say okay name of the property and also type of it so for example id is a string name is string or amount is long this is the uh, schema for using the avro and here you can say schema.parse and then you put this string it, it will parse the schema for you Another thing that you need for using the Avro is Reflect Writer. It will use this schema to serialize your objects. So it has schema and know how to serialize the objects based on that schema. And then it just simply uh, serialize the object and put it in the memory string because the output is in uh, binary format, just like uh, Protobuf. So here we create the writer and we say, okay, this writer using the order object, uh, the first one that we already created and using binary encoder for the uh, serializing the object. And it will write this byte into the memory string. That's the things for the Avro. It's a little different uh, and difficult to use. For the message, pack as i said you need to set these attributes for the class and properties for using the message pack and here you can say okay message uh, pack serializer serialize the object and it will generate bytes the last one is the bison bison is very simple it just has some extension method for the objects and we can use the order dot to bison. It will create a byte array and we can check the output size. This is the code for checking the first criteria, the output size of the JSON. Let's run the project and see the output of the same object. Let me a little zoom here. If we check this output, it's interesting for me actually because as we can see the avro size is the minimum output size for serializing an object before that i thought it should be protobuf because you know everyone talking about the protobuf protobuf is compressed output and here another point i'm using uh, the default setting because for example in avro or uh, uh, json you can use some compression uh, format gzip or another options but we are using the same or default setting for all of these frameworks anyway here you can see that avro size is the minimum json size is uh, 148 same as the system.json the built-in one so it means okay no matter the output is the same for you using the Newton stuff or the built-in.net. Protobuf is 97. It's compared to the 148. It's way better. Avro 93, message pack 95, and then Bison is 160. Bison size is actually is more than the, the simple one, the text. I don't know why, but uh, yeah. It is what it is and we can see it okay so in this step we can see that avro library generate the best output size but is it um, a good measure to make a decision about what library we should use for our serialization 
or you know in API or in other application. Let's see. The best one in this step is Avro. Second one, we want to do a benchmark to check about the performance of the uh, serialization. When we are using different libraries, we need to know which one is the fastest. When we say Avro uh, will generate 93 bytes and it's better than protobuf in case of the size, but how about the speed? How long it takes for generating this output? Let's see. Let me stop the application here. I already create this benchmark for the serialization. I'm using this code that we already use for the serialized object. Here in the benchmark, I put the baseline for the Newton soft uh, because everyone wants to check the other libraries compared to the Newton soft. Second one is the system.txt and protobuf, avro, message pack, and the last one is bison. Also, I generate one order and order schema for the avro because actually it's like a singleton object. So for using benchmark, it doesn't make sense to every time we generate the, and parse the schema. So for having better, uh, result we need to create once and then just reuse it for the benchmarks in the global setup i just create this uh, schema for the avro and also this writer so here for protobuf we again using the memory stream and also for the avro is the same this is the way that i benchmark this uh, comparison if you know better way or if you think maybe you uh, should not use this memory stream here, there is a better way for comparison uh, these uh, libraries, please let me know, leave a comment for me about the, what is the best way of doing this benchmark. Okay, this is the benchmark. So simply let's run the project here. And also uh, no need to mention, this is the, some uh, configuration for the benchmark.net. I just uh, use this config uh, for uh, doing this kind of, when we are using baseline, we can change the style of the display data. Anyway, uh, you know it, I think. Running this project, we need to use benchmark runner that run, and we can say uh, serializer benchmark here. And after we don't need to run the rest of the code. We need to run application in release mode uh, for running the benchmark for, uh, yeah. So let's run the project here and let's see what is the result. It will take uh, some time for uh, running these uh, benchmarks. Uh, we need to wait until it's done. Here is the result of the benchmark. As we can see here, JSON, Newton soft JSON uh, takes around 900 nanoseconds to serialize the object. System that takes that JSON is a little better. It's uh, around 550 nanoseconds. And all, also we can check the ratio column here. If we consider the Newton soft as baseline, uh, text.json is about 1.6 faster than Newton soft. Protobuf is better. It's around two times faster. Avro is case of the performance is almost the same as a uh, Newton soft for serializing an object. The interesting one is message pack. Message pack is more than three times faster than Newton soft, which is really good. This message pack is three times faster than Newton soft and uh, Bison is slower than the uh, Newton soft. If we check the allocated memory, Newton soft is using mas maximum uh, memory for serializing. It uh, takes 1,600 bytes, but here message pack again, using the minimum memory for the serializing. It's fastest serializer and also uh, using minimum memory allocation. I think it's really good. But in case of the output size, Avro was the best 
and message back was the second one. But here, Avro, in case of a speed, it's not good comparing to the Newton soft. But message packs is really good to consider. So what's the point? What we have done here, also, as you know, maybe you are running this code in different machine. Maybe you get different result. But the ratio should be same, I think. We uh, check two options. One is output size of serialization, text or binary. But Avro was the best, the minimum output size. And message pack was second one. The output size is good when you are considering the, for example, network latency. If you are caring about network latency, this output size is important for you. The output size is related to the network, not your application. Okay. But here, this benchmark is related to your application performance. Again, the question is, what is the best serializer in the .NET application we can use? I would say it depends. Always it depends because you need to check your project. You need to check your use cases. This is not good to use one serializer for all the projects. It depends. So for example, if you are caring about the performance of the application, maybe you say message pack is good. But I think, again, it's not true. Why? Because when you are using JSON, it's one of the most important thing about the JSON is it's easy to use. It's easy to maintain and it's human readable. Everyone can read the output of your, for example, API response. Everyone can see what is your schema for your responses, for your APIs, and even easy to debug. So this is really an uh, important item for the applications. Every developer uh, knows about the JSON, about the structures. If someone come to me and ask, we have a big project, that has a lot of users, a lot of requests. We want to optimize it by using the best serializer. I would say if you want to optimize your project, first you need to go and optimize the other parts. For example, optimize your database query using cache or any other parts. And if it doesn't work, I mean, if you're optimizing your Entity framework using cache. If it's still you want to optimize more in your project, yes, you can consider this serializer frameworks. I mean, maybe in 90% of the projects is enough to optimize the other parts, not only the serializer. But anyway, for me, I would go for JSON, no matter Newton soft or system that takes uh that JSON for uh, my applications mostly because it's easy to maintain, easy to read, everything. But if I want to go for another one, actually, I didn't use message pack in, the, in my projects yet, uh, but I use the protobuf. Protobuf is a good choice because it has a good community behind it. And also it's integrated with the gRPC. If you are using gRPC, it's a good way for going for the uh, portal buff. But message pack is interesting. I think I need to go more and read about the message pack. Please leave a comment for me. Maybe you say this kind of comparison is not correct. Please let me know. Let me what is the correct way of this comparison of doing that? Maybe I create another video or consider these uh, points. That's all for now. Thank you for your time. Bye.